Stop! Don't pour that coolant. The wrong bottle can destroy your engine from the inside out. In the US, there are two main coolant chemistries. The old green stuff, called IAT, and the newer orange, long life version, OAT. They might look the same, but if you mix them, you will get a thick, corrosive sludge that clogs your radiator, kills your water pump, and cooks your engine. Most drivers have no idea they've already made this mistake. In the next few minutes, seven coolants that destroy your engine are revealed, and find out which three do a good job and work for your car. Let's start with the ones that turn your cooling system into a ticking time bomb. Number seven, mixing OAT and IAT. The sludge trap. Mixing different coolant types may sound fine, but it's one of the fastest ways to wreck a cooling system. OAT coolants use organic inhibitors for long-lasting protection, and IAT coolants rely on silicates and phosphates found in older vehicles. When the two chemistries meet, they react badly. The additives separate, turning what should be a smooth liquid into a sticky, gel-like mess that sludge clogs radiators, heater cores, and water pump passages. Additionally, it chokes the system from within. As coolant flow slows, heat can't escape properly. The engine starts to run hotter, gaskets weaken, and critical components fail faster. Even if the damage isn't immediate, performance drops and corrosion protection disappears. The mixture also ruins long life intervals, forcing earlier maintenance and expensive flushes. Experts agree. Once sludge starts forming, the only fix is a complete system flush and refill. Always match the coolant chemistry in your vehicle's manual. One wrong top-up can turn a simple refill into a costly repair. And speaking of costly repairs, the so-called universal coolants are even worse. Number six, universal coolant, the marketing trap. Every manufacturer designs engines around specific coolant chemistries, IAT, OAT, HOAT, or COAT. All are tuned to protect different metals, rubbers, and plastics. A so-called universal formula can't safely cover them all. The chemistry isn't truly compatible. When mixed into a system built for a specific type, these coolants dilute vital inhibitors and weaken protection. The results can be sludge, corrosion, or foamy deposits that choke the water pump and radiator. Long life protection vanishes instantly. Some universal products even claim they mix with all coolant types, but that only works in an empty system, never as a top-up. Once the chemical balance shifts, coolant turns unstable and damage spreads fast. Mechanics report accelerated hose wear, clogged passages, and failed thermostats after universal mixes. The safer approach is to use the coolant type listed in the owner's manual. And always treat universal labels as red flags. But red flags don't stop there. Color lies to number five. Trusting color. The coolant confusion. Color means nothing when it comes to coolant chemistry. Those bright greens, oranges, and purples under the hood look helpful, but they're just dye, branding, not science. Years ago, colors loosely matched technology types. Green meant IAT, orange meant OAT, and other hues filled the gaps. That's not true anymore. Today, different manufacturers use the same color for completely different formulas. One orange coolant might be a long-life OAT. Another could be a hybrid HOAT. Mix them without checking the specs, and the result can be chemical chaos. The inhibitors clash, protection breaks down, and corrosion starts eating through metal components. Additive dropout soon follows, forming sludge that blocks radiator cores and weakens flow. Color matching has cost countless drivers expensive repairs and wasted flushes. The smart move is ignoring color altogether. Always check the label, look for the specific chemistry and OEM approval. And when in doubt, flush before topping up. Dye is just marketing. 
Chemistry is what saves engines. Now, if chemistry saves engines, neglecting it slowly destroys them. But before we get into it, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button because the upcoming videos expose more hidden car killers that could already be under your hood. Number 4. Skipping the Flush Skipping a coolant flush is one of the worst shortcuts in car maintenance. Over time, the protective additives inside coolant break down and the pH starts to drop. Once that happens, the fluid turns acidic and begins corroding aluminum parts like the radiator, water pump, and cylinder head. Early coolants were highly alkaline, and when aluminum replaced iron in engines, that chemistry started working against them. Tests on aluminum alloys show how quickly corrosion accelerates once the inhibitor layer wears away. Old coolant loses its corrosion blockers and turns aggressive. They start to eat into the metal surfaces from the inside. Tiny pits form, leading to weakened structures, leaking gaskets, or even complete pump failure. The real danger is that nothing looks wrong until it's too late. Temperature stays normal, no visible leaks, but the metal is slowly dissolving. Therefore, always flush and refill on schedule. Clean coolant keeps the chemistry balanced and protects every aluminum surface it touches. Yet even a perfect flush means nothing if you fill it wrong. Number 3. Using tap water. Tap water is packed with minerals like calcium, magnesium, and chloride that leave residue behind as soon as the engine heats up. Those minerals build thin, rock-like layers inside radiator tubes and water pump passages. Heat transfer drops fast, and metal parts start running hotter than they should. That buildup traps heat and stresses, gaskets, seals, and aluminum surfaces. Over time, corrosion begins eating through the weakest points. The dissolved minerals also increase the coolant's electrical conductivity, turning the system into a miniature battery. That reaction speeds up electrolysis. It is common in engines built with mixed metals, aluminum blocks, iron heads, and copper radiators. The damage shows up as pitting, coolant leaks, or full pump failure. Even well-intentioned flushes with tap water leave mineral deposits that attack metal over time. Always use distilled or deionized water, or choose a pre-mixed coolant that's already purified. Still, no purity lasts forever. Neglect brings corrosion back. Number 2. Ignoring change intervals. Skipping coolant changes might save a little time, but it destroys the system from the inside out. Coolant isn't just colored liquid. It's a chemical barrier that keeps rust and corrosion away while lubricating the water pump. Over time, those additives weaken. The protective inhibitors fade, and the fluid's pH drifts, allowing oxidation to start attacking metal surfaces. Aluminium, cast iron, and steel components begin corroding long before visible damage appears. The result is scaling, clogged heater cores, leaking gaskets, and failing water pump seals. Many manufacturers recommend replacement every 30,000 to 50,000 miles, or roughly every three to five years. Ignore that window, and the coolant turns from protector to corrosive. The scary part is how it happens. No leaks, no lights, just slow internal decay. When the signs finally appear, repair costs soar. Following the schedule keeps the system balanced and the chemistry fresh. Plus, the expensive metal parts stay safe from premature failure. Regular flushes cost less than repairs ever will. And worse than skipping service is buying false security. Number 1. Cheap Extended Life Coolants Those bargain extended life coolants, promising 5 years or even lifetime protection, often sound too good to resist. But many of them are nothing more than clever marketing with poor chemistry behind the label. True long-life coolants are built with advanced inhibitor packages. They meet strict OEM standards and withstand years of operation. Cheap versions skip those essentials, 
they often lack the right mix of organic and hybrid acids needed to protect mixed metal systems. Some even omit critical corrosion inhibitors entirely. This leaves radiators, heater cores, and pumps exposed. Over time, the coolant degrades. The pH balance fails, and the system starts corroding from within. One premium brand documents 600,000 mile protection, but those claims rely on lab testing and verified certification, something budget products rarely have. Without those standards, extended life becomes extended risk. Failures range from sludge formation to head gasket damage, costing thousands to fix. The smart choice is simple, buy coolant that meets OEM specs. Cutting corners on chemistry never saves money for long. All right, enough of the troublemakers. Let's move to the coolants that actually protect your engine. Number three, high-tech oils coolant. High-tech oils has built a solid reputation for crafting coolants that actually live up to their promises. Their long-life coolant is formulated with organic acid technology. It contains ethylene glycol, which protects against corrosion while serving a wide range of vehicles, from passenger cars and light trucks to marine and industrial engines. This versatility shows how the product is tuned for durability across modern and heavy-duty applications. The red variant takes longevity even further. It boasts up to 250,000 kilometers or five years for passenger vehicles, not to mention an impressive 1 million kilometers or 12,000 hours for heavy-duty use under ideal conditions. That kind of lifespan reflects a well-engineered inhibitor package made to guard mixed metal systems, aluminum heads, and turbocharged engines. High-tech oil's strong manufacturing background in automotive and industrial lubricants gives it an edge in quality control and additive precision. Its long-life red formula is silicate-free. Additionally, it is free from nitrates, borates, phosphates, or amines, making it safer for pumps and hoses. Clear chemistry, strong formulation, and proven protection make this coolant a reliable long-term choice. But for OEM precision and certified strength, Valvoline delivers more number two. Valvoline OEM Advanced 48 Coolant Valvoline OEM Advanced 48 is built for precision and performance. It's a hybrid organic acid technology coolant made with ethylene glycol. What's more, it's formulated for mixed metal engines, aluminum, cast iron, and copper brass systems alike. Its low silicate, phosphate-free, low pH design offers strong corrosion resistance. This protects pumps, radiators, and gaskets. What truly sets it apart is its impressive list of approvals. It meets the American Society for Testing and Material Specification, D3306 and D4985 standards, plus OEM specs from BMW, Mercedes-Benz, MAN, MTU, GM, and Volkswagen. Those certifications confirm the coolant's compatibility across passenger cars, light commercial vehicles, and heavy-duty engines when properly diluted performance is equally reliable. A 50-50 mix provides freeze protection down to minus 36 degrees Celsius and boiling protection up to 128 degrees Celsius. In concentrated form, it reaches an impressive 162 degrees Celsius that makes it dependable in both harsh winters and high-load driving. It's also gentle on hoses, seals, and plastics. With its balanced pH and inhibitor system, Valvoline OEM, Advanced 48 reduces cavitation erosion and liner pitting. This gives modern engines lasting, OEM approved protection without compromise. However, when one coolant must fit all, Nulon delivers. Number one, Nulon Multi-Vehicle One. Nulon Multi-Vehicle One is built for drivers who want one coolant that can handle just about anything on the road. It's a type A long life formula. The product promises protection for up to 10 years or 1 million kilometers when used as a full fill. That's serious endurance. It goes beyond local standards. 
It meets Australia's AS2108-2004 spec and big-name international ones from BMW, Mercedes, Volkswagen, GM, and Ford. A 50-50 mix keeps things stable in any climate, guarding against freezing at minus 37 degrees Celsius and boiling at around 128 degrees Celsius. Its balanced pH range helps fight corrosion on every surface inside the cooling system. There's also a universal top-up version. This version works safely with different coolant colors, a lifesaver when the service history is unclear. The only catch, to get that full long life promise, the system needs a complete flush and refill, not just a top up. Done right, Nulon One earns its name, strong, flexible, and ready for almost any engine out there. That's the truth behind the coolants destroying engines and the few that actually protect them. Did you find this video helpful? Tell us in the comments below, don't leave yet. The next video could save your engine before your coolant finishes the job. Watch it now before another routine top-up costs you thousands.